Hello everyone, in this playlist you will learn how to integrate Firebase technology into your Python projects. You can get all the information you need about Python Firebase by following the videos in the playlist in order. First, let's answer the question of what is Firebase. Firebase is a set of back-end cloud computing services and application development platforms provided by Google. It hosts databases, services, authentication, and integration for a variety of applications. In the first video, we will learn how to transfer the Firebase library, which is required to use Firebase in Python, to the project. We will create a project in Firebase. We will integrate it with the project using the keys provided to us by Firebase. So let's start. You can access the Firebase website from the link in the description of the video or by typing Firebase into Google. After logging in with your Gmail address, click the Create Project button. Give your project a name. After accepting the terms, click the Continue button. Firebase provides us with Google Analytics for each project. However, I am disabling this option because we do not need it right now. After clicking the Create Project button, the project will be created after a certain period of time. The project has been created. Click on the Continue button. You can use Firebase in all your iOS, Android, and web applications. For Python projects, select the web option. Enter a nickname for the app and click the Register App button. Firebase is currently creating the keys we need for the project. We will connect to Firebase using the keys in the Firebase config variable in Python. Now let's transfer the Firebase library. Write this code in the command section. The library transfer process will be completed shortly. If you have any problems with the transfer process, mention it in the comments. When the transfer process is completed successfully, you should be able to import the PyBreeze library. Now let's transfer the Firebase config variable to the Python code file. We need to make a small correction to the variables. I create a variable named Firebase. I send the config variable to the initialize app function in the transferred library. I am creating a variable for authentication. I can now access the auth function from the Firebase variable. Let's run the code. The program gave an error because there was no database parameter in the config variable. I also add the database parameter to the config variable. Now the program should not give errors. I'm running it again. The program worked without errors. In the next video, we will learn how to perform the sign in process. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.